Hey everybody, this is Skylar from Sage Lake, and today we are going to be revamping a gumball machine. We bought this old gumball machine at a flea market, and we are planning to use it at a convention that we are guesting at in a few months. Hopefully this video will help you if you have an old gumball machine that you're looking to revamp. You can tell that this one has quite a lot of rust on it on the bottom and on the pole, and needs a good painting on the top. So let's go ahead and get started. To revamp our gumball machine, we use the following, Rust-Oleum Seaside Spray Paint, Rust-Oleum Glitter Clear Seal, Krylon Rolling Surf Spray Paint, Dragonfly Glaze, Baking Soda, Copper Wool Pads, if you have steel wool pads those will work just fine too, and Acetone. So what we did first is we covered the rusty bottom with a water and baking soda solution. We patted it down to make sure that we covered all of the rust, and then we patted it down a little bit more. This baking soda solution eats away at rust. Just a little forewarning, you may want to wear gloves and safety goggles when revamping your gumball machine because there may be a lot of rust and sludgy stuff. We wanted to make sure to get the edges really well because there was a lot of rust on the edges of the bottom. Eventually you'll see the rust starting to come off even before you scrub away the baking soda. After you've covered the entire thing with the solution of baking soda and water, let it sit for a second and then begin to scrub away at it. Try to use a little bit of elbow grease because sometimes it's difficult to get all of the rust off. We also had some rust on the pole so we wanted to make sure to get that off. We went ahead and took the copper straight to the rust and put a little bit of the baking soda solution on it too. Next, we went ahead and poured water all over the base and the pole and then we decided to go ahead and scrub away at whatever rust we saw that was left. And if you need to, repeat this step as many times as needed. Go ahead and tape off any parts that you don't want to paint. What we did is we found an old piece of cardboard to use to make sure that we didn't paint unnecessary places. We went ahead and painted the inside seaside blue. This is where the gloves would come in. <laughs> you can tell Nakai was trying to turn herself into a smurf. We also painted the inside of the top plate. If you accidentally get paint on a part of the gumball machine that you didn't mean to, try to use the acetone. It usually takes paint off pretty easily. Now it's time to paint the outside. We also used cardboard during this part to make sure that we didn't get paint on any places we didn't want it. It was kind of windy when we painted, so be aware of that when painting. Sometimes it can carry paint on unwanted places, so be careful. Next, we hit the inside with a clear coat to make sure that none of the paint would come off. While that was drying, we painted the outside with a glitter coat. We wanted it to have a shiny look so it would get people's attention, so hopefully this works. While the entire top part of the gumball machine was drying, we painted the pole and the base black. Do this as many times as needed. Just make sure it has enough time to dry in between coats. The back of the spray can will tell you how much time you need in between spraying these coats. We decided to let the entire gumball machine dry the rest of the night, and we came inside to work on the glass. We wanted the front of the machine to have a shine to it too, so we decided to take the glass out of the front and bring it in and use dragonfly glaze on the front of it. This gave the glass a violet to blue shine, and it really complemented the glitter that was all over the gumball machine. After everything dried, we brought it in, we put the glass back in it, and it looked fantastic. Tell us what you think about the before and after of our gumball machine, and hopefully this video showed you a couple of tips and tricks on how to paint your gumball machine if you have one. Let us know how you feel about it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on DIY projects, cosplay, props, crafts, nerdy videos, and more. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you taking the time to check out our gumball machine, and hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.